We believe that every single person is made in the image of God. And because of that, every single person has an estimable dignity and value. This extremist lunatic ideologue, Mike Johnson. If you hadn't heard of him before, you're certainly not alone. He was basically a nobody until now. The House of Representatives has elected a new speaker of the House of Representatives. His name, Mike Johnson of Louisiana. The Daily Beast called you a Christo fascist. I was reading about this uh, horrible shooting in Maine. Is he that different than Mike Johnson? A so-called speaker of the MAGA movement in one of the most powerful positions in Washington. And Johnson has hard right credentials. He's voted against more aid for Ukraine, a divisive issue for Republicans. He's opposed abortion rights. Essentially what you'd expect from a religious fundamentalist. I just wish they would get to know me. Just a little over a year ago, on October 7, 2022, Vision Unsealed posted this video about the Disney sitcom Little Demon that openly mocked the Bible and Christianity. The movie glorifies Satan and calls a little girl the Antichrist. This was the first time we learned about the new speaker, Mike Johnson. Despite the attacks from the liberals, he boldly denounced the movie and warned against exposing children to demonic movies like Little Demon. Your dad is the devil and you're the Antichrist. I'm supposed to accept that you had sex with Satan or anyone? Uh I watched that shocking ending to the LSU game like all the rest of us did. That was disturbing, you know, but I made the point that there were other disturbing things too. And for me, the, the, the worst moment was that commercial break in the second quarter and they played that that uh, that uh, ad, I guess, for this new, uh, it's a, a cartoon, Moon, it's a sitcom, that's how they're labeling it, a sitcom called Little Demon. Disney owns FX, so they produced it, they're marketing that together. And, you know, I was watching it with, with my kids, one of, my youngest is 11, right? And a lot of kids, I mean, every kid in Louisiana watches the LSU opener, right? I mean, ball game, everybody's watching, all the kids in the living room, and this ad comes up, the trailer includes these really dark images of hell and demons and satanic imagery. And then the explanation that the main character is the Antichrist, okay? It sounds like we're making this stuff up. And so I go online to say, what in the world? I couldn't grab the remote fast enough to shield my 11-year-old, and I'm just so disturbed by it, you know? I'm wondering, you know, how many kids are exposed to that? But more importantly, how many millions more are gonna tune in to watch this new series that Disney's putting out for people. So I, I went on Facebook and, and talked about it a little bit, and man, it created a firestorm. <laughs> then, fast forward to October 25, 2023, Congressman Mike Johnson was elected as the Speaker of the House. Dedicated wife of almost 25 years, Kelly. She's not here. We couldn't get a flight in time. This happened sort of suddenly. <laughs> but, but we're going to celebrate uh, soon. She spent the last... Uh, couple of weeks on her knees in prayer to the Lord. I want to tell all my colleagues here what I told the Republicans in that room last night. I don't believe there are any coincidences in a matter like this. I believe that Scripture, the Bible, is <clears throat> very clear that, that God is the one that raises up those in authority. He raised up each of you, all of us. And, and I believe that God has ordained and allowed each one of us to be brought here for this specific moment in this time. This is my belief. I believe that each one of us has a huge responsibility today to use the gifts that God has given us to serve the extraordinary people of this great country, and they deserve it, and to ensure that our republic remains standing as the great beacon of light and hope and freedom in a world that desperately needs it. Yeah. That our national motto, in God we trust, was ad adorned above this rostrum. And if you look at the little uh, guide that they give uh, tourists and constituents who come and, and, and visit the house, if you turn in there to about page 14 in the middle of that guide, it tells you the history of this. And it says very simply, these words were placed here above us. This motto was placed here as a rebuke of the Cold War era philosophy of the Soviet Union. That philosophy was Marxism and communism, which begins with the premise that there is no God. This is a critical distinction. America is the only nation in the world that is founded upon a creed. And he said it's listed with almost theological lucidity in the Declaration of Independence. What is our creed? We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, not born equal, created equal.
Given the deception of some politicians, including those claiming to be conservatives, some Christians are skeptical about celebrating the election of a genuinely born-again Christian as Speaker of the House. While these concerns and skepticism are understandable, we can only judge by what we know about Mike Johnson, and from what we've gathered so far, we can say that he, indeed, is a faithful follower of Jesus Christ. They are a piece of the fabric of the community. As an evangelical Christian, she says he doesn't shy away from leaning on his faith. You know, he's been asked the question, where do you get the guidance from? Where, who's going to be guiding you through this process? And he's going to tell you every time he's going to turn to the Bible. He's going to turn to the Holy Bible and to his Lord of Lords. And that's where it's written of what to do. In fact, Johnson's religion is the cornerstone of his politics. Go pick up a Bible off your shelf and read it. That's, that's my worldview. In a Facebook post just last year, Johnson argued biblical beliefs couldn't be separated from public affairs, a sentiment he's long championed. Our generation has been convinced that there's a separation of church and state. Right? Mm -hmm. You heard that term right. all the time. And most people think that that's part of the Constitution, mm -hmm. but it's not. He argued against decriminalizing same-sex sexual activity, calling homosexuality a dangerous lifestyle in a 2004 Shreveport Times editorial. He's also supported the idea of a nationwide abortion ban and was strongly against Roe v. Wade. For anyone who has seen how corrupt many of our elected leaders are and how morally depraved America has become, we can all agree that we need more godly and God-fearing leaders in positions of authority if we ever want to see this great nation prosper again. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This week we are observing the second annual celebration of Faith Month. Uh, Concerned Women for America and other sponsors are encouraging legislators across our country to give public display of our personal faith freely and openly. And what a great, what a great exercise this is. Of course, even though there is a dangerous trend today to discourage the or display or the depiction or exercise of our faith in, in the public square. This is a great time to observe our faith. We should never back down. Faith, family, and freedom are the pillars of our great nation, but they are under attack. Our schools are indoctrinating children to be ashamed of their country. Prayers and reading of the scriptures have been removed from schools, and many schools have removed the Pledge of Allegiance because it mentions God. Christians can no longer freely express their faith in public without being harassed or arrested. Millions of innocent babies are not allowed to see the light of day. All these result from having ungodly politicians, judges, and policymakers controlling our society. One of the greatest acts of God's judgment upon a people is when he removes the noble men from leadership. When he removes the entire population of noble men, and there's nothing left but ignoble, weak men. Now, who would dispute with me today and say this passage has no application to the United States of America? Most people no longer even knowing what bathroom they should go in. We are under the judgment of God. When someone like Mike Johnson, who has a track record of championing family, faith, and freedom, occupies a crucial position, we should support and pray for him. Equally important, we must elect more leaders who base their decisions on American principles, focusing on God, family, and nation. It is the only way to safeguard the blessings that God has bestowed on our country. Sadly, many people on the left quickly attacked the new speaker for his Christian views. This extremist lunatic ideologue is now after the vice president in the line of succession to be president of the United States. If that doesn't scare you, I don't know what will. The committee can be taken over by the extremist brown nosers who suck up to Mike Johnson. Just listen to this shocking comparison from Bill Maher. And I was reading about this uh, horrible shooting in Maine. No. Uh, and I heard, you know, we don't know much about the guy yet, but apparently he heard voices. And I thought, is he that different than Mike Johnson? No. <laughs> really? I mean, degree, yes, but it's thinner than you think. Unbelievable. Now, you'd expect that from Bill Maher. 
But it's a little more surprising when the former White House press secretary, Jen Psaki, says this. The Bible doesn't just inform his worldview. It is his worldview. In fact, during his first speech in his new job, Johnson suggested that his election as speaker was an act of God. Talk about a bit of a humble brag there. His views on policy are essentially what you'd expect from a religious fundamentalist. They're more divisive than they are divine. The Daily Beast called you a Christo-fascist. That is the first I've ever heard that term. Yeah, well. They said you're the most extreme example of a dangerously empowered religious fanatic. But here is the line that really stood out to me. They go on to say that your desire to institutionalize your faith is the way of the Taliban and the mullahs in Iran. Politico interviewed a historian about your worldview, and this historian said you're a Christian nationalist. It comes from that of Christian supremacy. I just wish they would get to know me. Um, I'm not trying to establish uh, Christianity as the national religion or something. That's not what this is about at all. If you truly believe in the Bible's commands and you, you seek to follow those, it is impossible to be a hateful person because the greatest command in the Bible is that you love God with everything you have and you love your neighbor as yourself. It should grieve us when we turn on the television set and we see that government is not submitted to God. We see that commerce is not submitted to God. We see that the whole world is not submitted to God. It ought to grieve us and cause us to hit our knees and cry out, Thy kingdom come! We hope Mike Johnson will remain faithful to the Lord as he carries out his duty as the Speaker of the House. Unfortunately, many politicians who came to Washington with good intentions to serve their constituents have become too corrupt. That is why every Christian should pray for Mike Johnson to maintain his Christian worldview and allow the light of Jesus Christ to shine through him, knowing that one day he will appear before God and account for his deeds. Let's pray for Speaker Mike Johnson. Heavenly Father, our nation is at a crossroads. You've allowed Mike Johnson to be the Speaker of the House for such a time as this. Please protect him from negative influence. As he draws near to you, please draw near to him and give him wisdom, as your word says in Proverbs 2, verse 6. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. We ask that you please protect him and his family from the enemy's attacks. Surround him with godly advisors, and may fame and pressure never force him to compromise his faith or convictions on biblical truth. Also, Lord, we humbly ask that you raise more godly leaders who, like King Josiah, would rid our nation of idolatry and sexual perversions that have permeated our society, including our schools. We thank you for answering our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Please help us spread biblical truth. Subscribe, like, and share. God bless you.